Okay, today we're in section 3.3, angles of polygons. All right, and um, you know, up until this point, 3.1, we were learning relationships of angles, complementary, um, sorry, supplementary, corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior. Uh, hopefully, you know, you're reviewing those concepts. Uh, you do have a quiz tomorrow, which is Wednesday, over sections 3.1 and 3.2. You need to be studying your notes and the YouTube videos. Um, but in today's lesson, okay, we're still focusing on this concept of angle measures and how to find, the, find unknown angle measures. Well, the first thing you need to understand is, well, what's a polygon in the first place? All right, so you need to write down this definition. A polygon is a closed figure. So it can't be have an open side, you know, the whole figure has to be closed in. It's made up of straight lines, so it can't have any curves, and those straight lines cannot intersect. All right, so those are your definitions, um, or the, I guess you could call it the criteria for polygons. All right, so this hopefully is a review, okay? Um, but we need to know what polygons have what sides and what they're called. Three-sided is a triangle. Four-sided, I know you're thinking probably rectangle or square, but really it's called a quadrilateral. And rectangle, square, tra uh, trapezoid, rhombus, those are types of quadrilaterals. All right, five sides, what do you think? Okay, hopefully pentagon comes to mind. Hexagon. Heptagon. All right, this looks like a good fill in the blank section on a quiz or a test. All right, knowing what figures have what sides. A nonagon, that might be one that you haven't heard of. Nonagon. And then a 10 sided is a decagon. All right, then on your homework, you might see something like a 13 gone. All right, I know that looks weird, but basically anything above a 10 the number at the beginning is telling you how many sides it has, all right? So anything above 10 doesn't have a specific name. You just call it a 13 gone and a 15 gone, and, you know, it just kind of is labeled like that. All right, so all of those things are important, all right? Really kind of like the basis for this whole lesson today, all right, is this formula right here. This formula makes finding the sum of interior angles very, very easy. All right, to know that the sum, that's what capital S is, of the angles is N, which N stands for the number of sides. You need to write that down. N stands for the number of sides in the figure. So depending what kind of figure it is, that value is gonna change. You subtract two and then multiply it by 180. All right, so let's look at this um, pedestrian crosswalk sign. All right, I want you to just kind of look at it you don't necessarily have to sketch it on your notes all right but let's look at how many sides it has okay so we've got one two three four five all right so a five-sided polygon is a pentagon all right so because it has five sides again i use my formula n minus two times 180 and now I'm gonna plug in five for N because that's how many sides there are. All right, and at this point, can you do five minus two in your head? Can you do that mental math? Yeah, of course you can. So five minus two is three. Use your calculators to multiply it by 180, and three times 180 is 540 degrees. And that's the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon. All right, and guess what, guys? It really is the sum every single time, so that might be a number that you could memorize. All right, 540 is a pentagon. Okay, and that's just what we're doing continuing on. This is maybe a little more similar to what you would see on a quiz or a test. It's just these simple shapes. Uh, looking at your homework, um, I think we see some of that. You're gonna have to count how many sides but as soon as you know how many sides, all right, so again, um, we're just kind of going through one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, um, so that's eight sides. So we just plug it into our formula. S equals eight sides now. I plug it in. Well, actually, let me write the original formula because for your homework tonight, that's what I want you to do. For the original problem, instead of writing the shape uh, down out of your book, I want you to write the original formula. All right, so S now equals eight sides in this figure minus two times 180. Again, you can do eight minus two equals six. All right, you don't have to put that part in your calculator. But then 180 times six is going to give me the total angle measure all right, of the angles of an octagon, and that's 1,080 degrees. All right, I want you to go ahead and do the next one on your own. Count how many sides it has and try to plug it in the formula. All right, so we'll pause for a sec. Okay, so we see one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So again, my original problem, S equals N minus two times 180. And S equals six minus two times 180. Six minus two is four. And four times 180 is 720 degrees. All right, again, something that technically you could memorize, 720 degrees. All right, so now we have angle two, okay? Or I'm sorry, not angle two, example two. In example two, we're assuming that these figures are not regular polygons. Now, this one might look like it is regular, but we're going to pretend for a minute. And when I say regular, it means that all of the angles are equal or the same measure. Um, we're just going to pretend for a minute that they're not, all right? And you see that we have, goodness, we have all of these angles. Well, the first thing we have to do is find the sum of the angle measures, all right? So this is kind of like a two-step problem. We need to figure out, again, how many sides? One, two, three four, five, six, seven. This is a heptagon. All right, so use our formula, S equals N minus two times 180. All right, and S equals seven minus two times 180. All right, so in your calculator, what's 180 times five? You should have 900, all right? So this is the sum of the angle measures of this heptagon. So just like we did yesterday with triangles, if we know the total, we can add up all the other numbers and subtract it from the total. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, it's gonna be like the longest equation you've ever written, but here we go. 140 plus 145, all right? And you need to make sure you're showing this work on your homework plus 115, plus 120, plus 130. All we're doing is adding all of these angle measures together, plus 128, and then plus X, and they all have to add up to 900 degrees, okay? So step one was use my formula that I just learned in example one to figure out the sum of the angle measures so I know what my total is supposed to be, okay? So I add all those numbers together, and I will, at, when I add them all together, what do I get? So let's pause for a second and add them all together. And when you add them all together, you should get 778 plus X equals 900. All right, and now it's just a simple one-step equation to solve. Subtract 778 from both sides and your unknown angle measure in order for all the angles to add up to 900 has to be 122 degrees. It's the only measure it could be to make them all add up to 900. All right, so these are gonna change depending on how many sides are in the figure. All right, so it's important, use your formula first to figure out what's the sum of the angle measures supposed to be. Yesterday when we did triangles, we just knew it was going to be 180 every time. Well, with polygons, those uh, sum of the angle measures is going to change depending on what shape it is. All right, so that's where you just have to um, 
Use your formula, find the sum and the angle measures, and then set up your equation. All right, so let's look at this one. All right, it's a different shape, okay? So again, we need to use our formula first. How many sides? One, two, three, and four. So use your formula first. N minus two times 180. Four minus two times 180, and two times 180 is 360. So sum of my angle measures is 360. Why did I do that? Because I need a total. 360 is my total. All right, so now I'm gonna pause here. I want you to try to fill in what's gonna go over here on the left side of the equation. All right, based on what we just did on the last slide, what's gonna go on the left side? All right, so you should be writing down these angle measures. X plus 90 plus 115 plus 80, okay? And when we go 90 plus 115 plus 80, we get 285, so X plus 285, I'm just adding all those numbers together, equals 360, all right? Take a second now to finish solving. All right, so we subtract 285 from both sides. And x equals neg uh, 75, 75 degrees. It's never going to be negative. All right, x equals 75 degrees. So again, in order for this to be a true quadrilateral or four-sided uh, polygon, that unknown angle measure has to be 75 degrees. All right? So this, these questions are going to be two-step. First one, find the sum of the angle measures. And guys, once you know one of them, that's going to be all of them. So that might even be like a handy little note card that you write for yourself. Four-sided is 360. Five-sided is 540. Six-sided is 720. And it keeps going up by 180 degrees per side. All right, so once you know the sum, now you can set up your equation. Add up all your sides, and it has to equal that total. All right, so that's what it's going to be. Okay, last uh, example. All right, and you can see a picture of it on page 120 if you guys are visual. I mean, it's kind of a hazy looking picture. But basically, it's a cloud system on Saturn. All right, so they sent a satellite way out into space and they found a cloud system on Saturn. And it is the approximate shape of a regular hexagon. All right, and it actually really is. All right, they say it's about 15,000 miles across the whole cloud, which is crazy. Um, that's a huge cloud. All right. Well, it says find the measure of each interior angle of the hexagon. All right. So guys, this is basically just they're applying it to real life. The planet Saturn is a real planet, and I can still apply the same formula S equals N minus 2 times 180. All right. So how many sides are in a hexagon? All right, that is something that you're gonna have to know. Hopefully you're thinking six. Six minus two times 180. All right, so this is really just example one all over again. Four times 180. Again, for a hexagon, it never changes. The sum of the interior angle measures is 720 degrees. But what's different in this one is, it's not asking for the sum. It's asking for each interior angle. So if I know the sum of them is 720, and because it's regular, it means all the angles are going to be the same measure, I can take 720 degrees and divide it by however many sides are in the figure. So in this case, I take my sum and I divide it by six, and 720 divided by six means that each angle has to be 120 degrees, all right? So if it was an octagon, guys, you would plug in an eight here, and then you would divide by eight, all right? So it just varies depending on which polygon you're looking at. All right, so that one, uh, let's see if you have it on your homework. 
Uh, measure of each. Okay, that's number 21. Um, which I didn't give you number 21. Um, oh, it's like number um, 18. Okay, so number 18 on your homework is going to be just like this example. And it looks... Um, it looks like that's the only one for the individual angles. All right, so if you understand that, that's everything you need to know. Oh, sorry, 17 also. No, wait. Just 18. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, that's everything you need to know for section 3.3.